Hey guys, I know you've been working hard on your project comparing fiction books to nonfiction books. Today I'm going to show you the next step that you'll complete. Um, so I'm going to give you an example with our sample book, Kid Sheriff and the Terrible Toads, and um, this is our fiction book, and our nonfiction book, The Smartest Dinosaurs. So as you know, first we read this fiction book together, and we came up with a list of topics, and one of our topics was the word dinosaurs. So then I searched that topic, dinosaurs and I found this nonfiction book and then with this nonfiction book I found five interesting facts about dinosaurs that I didn't know before so I know that this is super grainy but I wrote in my topic dinosaurs I wrote in my um, books title the smartest dinosaurs the author Don Lessam and the call number which is on the spine of the book and then I wrote down five facts, and on this sample right now I have two. The first one didn't really surprise me that much, but I didn't necessarily know it. It said that T-Rex had a larger brain than humans, but it wasn't as smart as humans. And my second fact, this one I found very fascinating. T-Rex worked with other T-Rex to hunt prey, but then they fought each other to eat that prey. So once you complete your nonfiction sheet with the five facts, you're going to move to Poplet. So let's look at an example together. Okay, this is my Poplet. And when you create yours, I want the word library sometime, somewhere in the name of the Poplet. Okay, so let's look at this. To the right here, I have the word books inside a black box. And below books, I have my nonfiction book in a blue box. I have a, a photo of that book and I have the title and author. And then connected below that I have my fiction book. And my fiction book is in a green box. I have a picture of the cover and the title and author of that book. Okay, so now let's look at our web in the middle. In the big black box I have that word I searched. So remember I came up with a list of topics and one of those topics was dinosaurs and then I found a nonfiction book based on dinosaurs. So here in the middle of my poplet I want a big black popple that has that topic dinosaurs. Okay now all around it I have one, two, three, four, five blue boxes. These are my five facts from this sheet. I'm going to put them in the same color boxes as I have my nonfiction book. For example, let's zoom in and look at those same facts I just showed you. T-Rex had a larger brain than humans but wasn't as smart as humans and that other one I found particularly fascinating. T-Rex would work together to hunt prey but then they would fight each other to eat the food. I mean I have some other facts about dinosaurs that I found in my nonfiction book. Okay so that seems simple enough. Possibly the trickier part however is doing the same thing with my fiction book. So with our example, remember Kid Sheriff really likes dinosaurs. That's what he says makes him a good sheriff. And he shares with us throughout the book some facts about dinosaurs. For instance, Stegosaurus are herbivores. Now he told us that because he recommended that someone make vegetarian chili um, because Stegosaurus would then like the vegetarian chili. Um, he says that T-Rex has baby arms, which I needed to explicate or explain a little bit. T-Rex has baby arms, which means their arms are short and skinny. Kid Sheriff tells us that T-Rex is the largest predator of the Cretaceous period. And Kid Sheriff tells us that Allosaurus have sticky fingers. Now, in this instance, I really do have facts in my fiction book about dinosaurs. So I found every fact that I could about dinosaurs in this book and I put each fact in its own box connected that to our main topic and notice that all of these facts are green because I found them in my fiction book. My fiction book is in a green box and all the facts I got from that fiction book are also in a green box. Okay let's talk for a sec. So we know that these guys are called the Toad Brothers. So in our list of topics on this for this book we also had the word toads. So I could just as easily have found a nonfiction book about toads. And I would probably have five facts right here from that book about toads. 
but what facts about toads could we possibly find from Kid Sheriff and the Terrible Toads? I don't think we could find any about toads, the animal. That is okay. Instead, I would describe the Toad Brothers. I would say that the Toad Brothers, um, what do they do? The Toad Brothers steal gold. That could be one of my facts. The Toad Brothers insult chili. That could be one of my facts. Ew, and the Toad Brothers kiss cattle. That could be one of my facts. So that information is perfectly fine to put inside of these green boxes as well. Let's talk about another instance. What if your word here is dogs and in your fiction story your main character is a dog? Now he looks like a dog but he acts more like a person. So what could you find out about dogs from your book? Well you could just describe that character who's the dog. You could also describe the way he looks. So if the dog is brown and white, you could say some dogs are brown and white. So you can get information from the illustrations as well. So give it a go. Um, get as far as you can today. And if you have any questions, um, let Miss Gurney know. And she can tell me those, and I can help you with that when I see you again next week. Thanks for working so hard today, and I will see you very soon.